Today's story is called Joe Useless. Bernard Blossom often wished he had a dog just like his friends. Jason Potter had a sort of German sheepdog. Desmond Blowfield had a sort of big boxer dog. Dylan Evans had a sort of shaggy sheepdog. At least that's what people thought it was. Carmen Biggins had a cat, which she said loved her very much. And Bernard Blossom had a tortoise. Her friends would throw balls and sticks and run and jump with their dogs. Even Carmen Biggins would sometimes manage to unhook her cat from her sweater and stroke its glossy coat. Bernard Blossom's tortoise was a bit boring. In the summer, it ate lettuce leaves. That was quite exciting. But in the winter, when the tortoise slept, Bernard only had a cardboard box to look at. And that was boring. One day, and it wasn't even Bernard's birthday, his mother and father surprised him with a mysterious, crackly, crinkly present. Bernard undid the wrapping paper. He hoped the present wasn't any more sleeping tortoises. But it was a big basket. What's this for? asked Bernard. It's for him, said his father. And in the drawer was a dog. A sausage-shaped sort of dog. A funny frankfurter sort of dog. But it was his dog. He would call him Joe. The day was sunny and warm. All his friends would be in the park showing off their dogs. Now it's Bernard's turn. Jump, boy! called Jason Potter and his dog caught the ball in one bound. Jump boy, called Bernard Blossom and threw the ball. Joe jumped as high as a blade of grass. Here boy, called Dylan Evans. His dog put his big feet on Dylan's chest and licked his ears. Here boy, called Bernard Blossom. Joe put his front feet on Bernard's toes and wagged his tail. Alas, called Desmond and his dog sprang through a hoop. Alas, called Bernard Blossom. Joe tried it, but the hoop got in the way. You'll have to get him a set of stilts, laughed Bernard's friends. Perhaps his legs will grow one day, called Carmen Biggins. Bernard sat on his bed. It had been a rotten day. His friends had laughed at him and Joe and his useless dog. You better come in, useless said Bernard to Joe. You can't catch balls, you can't jump through hoops. In fact, you can't jump at all. You're useless, said Bernard. Tomorrow we'll stay away from the park and my friends. No one ever went to the field behind the old school. We'll be on our own, said Bernard. We're going to learn to jump, said Bernard. Soon you'll soar through the air. But Joe's legs wouldn't jump and his belly got in the way. Then a loud scream and screech came from around the corner that both made them both jump. Their big dogs chased my beautiful cat into this pipe, howled Carmen Biggins. Now she's stuck in the middle. The pipe shook and the scratchy noise came from inside. Where's Joe? said Bernard. Where's my cat? said Carmen. There's your cat, said Bernard. Rescued by a sausage-shaped sort of dog. Bernard felt very proud. He's not so big as the other dogs, but he is useful. I like your dog best anyway, said Carmen. He's my hero. It was bedtime and the end of a perfect day. A warm, friendly, cosy sort of dog. That's what you are, said Bernard. A useful sort of dog. And they both went to sleep.